Behind me is a BMW M8 competition, and I'm trying to figure out why everybody's sleeping on these. Sitting inside of one of these, you feel like a mob boss. This is the best BMW has to offer. It has supercar performance. It keeps up with cars that are way more expensive. The BMW M8 is BMW's flagship sports car, competing with the AMG GT63 and the Porsche Panamera. Zero to 60 on this is three seconds flat, which is incredible for something that is this nice. I mean, you take a look inside, you have extended merino leather, heated ventilated seats, a nice iDrive system, Apple CarPlay, carbon fiber trim, one of the best looking steering wheels on the market, uh, adaptive cruise control, you know, plenty of space for people in the back. It's just a great place to be. You have the iDrive 7 system, which honestly is one of my favorite iDrive systems. I like the cockpit feel where you have all these buttons. It's easy to interact with. On Car Gurus, right now, you can find one of these vehicles for right around seventy dollars to $80,000, which makes it actually like a, a really, really good deal. In a lot of ways, this is like a BMW M5. It has about the same performance, it has the same engine, same drivetrain, but taking a look at the M8 Comp, it looks a lot different than the M5. It has long, swooping lines. It's a longer wheelbase by about two inches, which makes it a little bit more comfortable to drive. So it loses just a little bit of its trackability but it doesn't lose any of the fun. If you're so concerned about all the features that this car has, you're kind of missing the entire point because at the very heart is the BMW 4.4 liter V8, dubbed the S63, twin turbo, putting out 617 horsepower. When you take this M8 out on a drive, you really understand how special this car is. This isn't an M5. This is BMW's absolute best of the best. For a big car, it handles corners so well. Oh, and you don't get tired of the sound. It's just incredible. The M8 actually represents a little bit more for BMW than just another sports car. When you think about it, this is the last car that you can get that's not electronically assisted. And what I mean by that is everything that's coming out after this is going to be some kind of plug-in hybrid or a mild hybrid. This doesn't have a big 48 volt mild hybrid battery like, you know, my 540 does or some of the halfway M cars do. This one has just an engine, just turbos, and that's more than enough. It's just so sick. Listen to that. gonna sound like a broken record, but the BMW M8 competition has a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 that makes 617 horsepower and gets from zero to 60 in three seconds flat. Let's see how that goes. All wheel drive system, foot hard on the brake. And there's 60. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, it's so aggressive. As soon as it launches, it hooks so hard. It's just ridiculous. That's the thing about the M8. You get a comfortable drive, but with just putting your foot down, you unleash the power of the gods. It's ridiculous. The amount of torque that this thing has is unbelievable. You just get off the line so quickly. This one is mated to the eight-speed ZF transmission. Oh. When this car came out, it was right around $150,000. They were about 20 or 30 grand more than an M5, which seems like a lot. And honestly, yes, it is. On the used market though, if you go on Car Gurus right now, in the state of Florida, you can get one of these for right around 70 to $80,000. That's gonna be for like a 2021. You can get the coupe, the grand coupe, the convertible. The convertibles don't go for as much, but it is so much car for the money. The M8's not getting a relaunch though. It's going to stop in 2025. So for the next two years, you can still get one of these. And honestly, if you're thinking about it, <laughs> just do it. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> what this really is, is the end of an era. The end of the era of the true muscle cars. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs>